Alright, being that we're uh, lucky enough to be able to get this thing out of the bottom of the cabinet, we can start doing some of the work we need to do on it while it's sitting on our uh, on our bench. Started to put the cabinet back together. I got the speaker and the speaker grill in. Uh, the problem is I got to put the um, little ground strap, not ground strap, but the um, grounding terminal for the speaker, and that's connected to the uh, the wires that go to the power switch and everything like that. So basically, the first thing I really have to do before I start putting this thing back together is get this. Uh, Get this whole power brick suitcase power supply whatever the hell you want to call it it's not really a suitcase but get the power brick straightened out so what we're going to do while it's here is we're going to take care of these fuses which are no nowhere close to the correct fuses which is probably why that melted down there uh we're going to get a new line cord stick that on there and um uh repin that connector of course uh, it looks like i should have plenty of room if I cut that down, because I have to cut, I gotta cut this down to here. I'd rather just get rid of all this, because I mean, these wires are melted all the way down. This was uh, spliced into, and that's soldered in there. So we gotta cut this all the way down to here. If I need to, I can uh, probably work a little magic with some uh, cutting some zip ties and on uh, freeing up where I'm tethered down there, and I should be able to make it. I think. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I mean, worst comes to worst, I, I have to extend these wires with some scrap wire. I actually, ha I actually have all the colors, too, in my big box of scrap wire down there. So, anyway, uh, when we come back, we will have this uh, somewhat straightened out. I hope. Alright, there we go. We got our uh, brand new fuse holders in there with the proper uh, 1 amp and 2 amp slow blow fuse. And our new fuse holder here with their proper 2 amp fuse, uh, slow blow. So on, uh, what I did was on most of them I, uh, I had to strip the, uh, the wire down a little bit to get, you know, get to some new, some new shiny wire. And then we, uh, soldered it right in, right in there. Nice and firm. Same thing with here. Same thing with those. Had to get a little bit of new wire and then poke it right on through the hole and solder it in. So, good to go. So after a very long work week and a while uh, not being able to work on this, uh, I got to it tonight. It's Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and um, finally got to piece some things back together. Um, taking it from the top, might as well, as long as the battery on my phone holds out. Uh, we got our speaker panel back in along with our uh, lighting insert panel our grounds and our switch hook back up you kind of you can kind of see the speaker back there with the camera light oh we got our our cabling all run down the side of the cabinet we got our interlock back in and hooked up and if we see back there I'll do the best I can I'll point it out to you if I can get this out of the way uh, we got our new switches uh, excuse me fuses and fuse holders down here as well. Um, here is the, um, I believe this is for the coin counter. There's a wire for the coin counter, comes right off the transformer. We had to clip that to remove the power block, power brick. So I just put a little uh, little spade connector in there. And then back there, you really can't see it, uh, on the transformer, one of the uh, mounting uh, lugs for the transformer, we uh, stripped the wires, put a uh, ring connector on it, and then uh, nutted it down, put a nut on it, and held it down for the ground. That was previously soldered onto some other wires, so that's taken care of. Got a nice line cord here. I got to get some strain relief right now. It's just hanging by the um, the uh, the soldering, which we won't leave it like that. And we uh, we pinned our uh, power in connector. I just finished repinning our power out connector. Right, that has to be cleaned up and uh, zip tied. But I was too excited to do that. I wanted to see how our rebuild went, and I'll show you. Put you on our multimeter right here. I'm gonna turn the cabinet on, and I'm gonna hold. 
obviously our black lead the ground our red lead to white and red 5.167 our other 5 volt uh, connection is 5.167 and our third 5, five volt connection 5.167 so our 5 volts is there and present uh, nice and solid it was actually pretty high uh, when I first put the board in because I had the uh, has a 5 volt trimmer pot uh, I put it in mechanical center and then uh, obviously it was like five and a half which is too much so I dialed it back to 5.1 that way when the board goes in and there's a a draw on it it'll probably drop a little bit um, to five uh, maybe a little bit under five maybe still a little bit over five but usually 5.05 is kind of what I try to go for running I seem to have good luck with that or five 0.025 somewhere around there just to, to smidge over five bolts you know um, so that's where we are so far I'm going to uh, continue to work on this and clean up the wiring a little bit and uh, I'll come back uh, before I have the whole thing together okay we're getting there um, however now I'm noticing uh, an issue with the um, that neck board that neck board's been uh, was broken at one point and it was uh, soldered back together and if you even touch it or even shake the cabin a little bit, which it's not doing it now, but trust me, it was before. Um, if it gets bumped or joss, there you go, see? You bump the cabinet, and uh, it's something with the connection from the neck board to the uh, the tube, or it's maybe a bad repair on the uh, on that neck board, so I'm going to have to chase that down. But making progress, making progress. Alright, I found that problem. It's something... Uh Again, I showed you once where that uh, that neck board's been repaired. You can see all the jumpers. Um, but also, I guess the socket was damaged as well. Where it connects to the tube, and that's loose. So if you wiggle that around a little bit, it'll, um, it'll freak out on you. So I kind of shifted it a little bit. And uh, it seems to be working fine now. I'm sure once it's put in its place next to Pac-Man over there. And it's not uh, bumped around. I think it'll be just fine. Just, I've been whacking the cabinet and jostling it a little bit, and it's been fine. I, I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that the picture's so nice in this monitor, I'd just replace it. But or at least try to replace some components on it, the uh, the neck board, and do something with the socket. But it works great when it's working. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. <laughs>